In today's video, we will be taking a look at my updated 2024 presidential election prediction between Joe Biden and Nikki Haley. Joe Biden being the incumbent president, while Nikki Haley being the former governor of the state of South Carolina and the former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. So let's get begin with today's video. Now starting off with the safe states here, which are characterized here, Nikki Haley with 122 electoral votes to Joe Biden at 181. South Carolina being already characterized for Nikki Haley because he she is the governor of the state of South Carolina, at least former governor. Now let's start off with the other likely states for Nikki Haley. Alaska is the first state voted for Trump by 10 definitely will support Nikki Haley. Moving on, Iowa and Ohio, both of these states will be the likely Republican characterization. The state of Iowa and the state of Ohio both voted for Donald Trump by 8 percentage points. And both of these states are pretty similar in a couple of ways. Both of these states heavily supported Donald Trump while were com very competitive states previously before Trump entered politics. We see that Trump did very well in the working class regions in the state of Ohio and very well in the rural areas, carrying all but six counties in the state of Iowa. Moving on here, we're going to be giving Nikki Haley the state of Texas by a likely margin. Now, I think Haley could do somewhat decently in some of the suburban areas. I think she definitely lose support in some of the rural areas because she definitely isn't someone that's super Trumpian. She distanced herself away from Trump. Before 2020, she was pretty friendly to Donald Trump, but after 2020, and with the election fraud claims um, Trump mentioned, she ended up distancing herself from Donald Trump. And I don't think she's going to get a lot of Trump supporters. Moving on to the state of Florida, I think this will also be a likely state for Nikki Haley. This is a state that Trump won by 3.3%. This is a pretty close margin, but nonetheless an impressive one. As previously speaking, candidates typically won or lost the state of Florida within two, two percentage points. So this was decent for Donald Trump in terms of a performance. And really, if you look at some of the trends here, the shift from 2016, you see a Miami-Dade County, the largest county in the state by population, trended to the Republican Party by 22 points, along with a couple of county counties here at the border region of the state of Florida, because these are areas that are trending to the Republican Party, thanks to the Cuban slash Hispanic population. Now, the final likely state, or I should say district, main second congressional district for Nikki Haley. Now going to Joe Biden's likely states. Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia, I don't think much has to be explained in all three of these states. I'll vote for Joe Biden by between 10 to 14 points in 2020. Definitely going to vote for Joe Biden in 2024, though probably not by safe margins, which are over 15 percentage points. Now going to Maine's at-large vote here, I do believe this will be a likely vote for Joe Biden. He won the state by 9 points overall in 2020, and I expect a similar performance for him against Nikki Haley. Now, that will pretty much be it, but we'll have one more likely Democratic state, being the state of Minnesota. Biden did win the state by 7, so I do believe that he'll win the state by a narrow likely margin, probably in the ballpark of 5 or 6 points. He did pretty well in the Minneapolis region, and some of the rural areas in the state are just not as red for the Republican Party, as opposed to a state like Wisconsin. Not really Wisconsin, but many of the bordering Republican states, or many of the competitive states such as Texas. Not, Texas is not really competitive, but Arizona or Georgia. Now, those are the states that we have filled in. Now, going on to the lean slash toad states, which are all of the remaining states. We're just going to get New Hampshire's 2nd Congressional District out of the way. Definitely going to lean towards the Democratic Party. Voted for Biden by 7, and although redistricting has made it a point or two more Republican-leaning, it's still pretty favorable for the Democratic Party. Now, let's start off with the state of Nevada. The state of Nevada. Now, Nevada is a state with a pretty heavy Hispanic population. If we look at the shift from 2016, you see Clark County, the largest county by far in the state, actually shifted to the Republican Party. I do believe that someone like Nikki Haley could do pretty well in a state like Nevada. And as of that, I'm going to give her the state. Now, going to the state of Arizona. Arizona is a fast trending blue state, the two largest county in the state, which covers around 80% of the state's population, trended blue each by five points if not more and generally speaking the rural areas of the state of arizona though they're quite red they're not very large in terms of the population 
And really, I don't think Nikki Haley can do that well with some of the urbanized voters and some of the suburbanized voters in the state of Arizona as well. So I'm going to give the state to Joe Biden. Now going to the state of Georgia. Georgia does border the state of South Carolina. And I think someone like Nikki Haley could do pretty decently in the state because again first of all it does border the state of South Carolina her home state and secondly I do believe that this state because of the regional advantage because um, Nikki Haley is also from the southern part of the United States I do believe that she'll probably end up carrying the state because of that by a pretty narrow tilt margin now going to the state of New Hampshire uh, North Carolina North Carolina also borders South Carolina obviously and this is a state that I think most Republicans will probably be able to carry. This is because of the fact that, just in general, I do believe Republicans are going to be favored in North Carolina in the next couple of elections. Sure, the state will pretty much always be close, but I think it will always vote for the Republican Party, at least on a presidential election, for another decade or two, at least typically speaking. So, a lean state for Nikki Haley. Now going to a Rust Belt, probably Nikki Haley's weakness. Let's start off with the state of Wisconsin. This will be a tilt state, in my opinion, for Joe Biden. I do believe that the state of Wisconsin will end up voting for Biden because Nikki Haley is pretty, does not perform very well in the Rust Belt. This is because I just don't think she has the regional appeal. And I think her rural appeal is going to be quite weak and won't be able to consolidate on some of the Republican gains in some of the rural areas of the state. Similarly, in the state of Michigan. Now, Michigan is more focused on some of these suburban regions like Oakland County, Kent County, Genesee County, or even Macomb County. And those are regions that I think Donald Trump who is very strong, especially with the working class in the Rust Belt, such as Macomb County, could do pretty well in, that Nikki Haley just doesn't have the support in. So definitely a lean state for Joe Biden. Now, New Hampshire, I'm going to get out of the vet way. Voted for Joe Biden by seven. Is in the New England region, trending blue heavily. Looks like it's going to go for the Democratic Party, but at least a lean margin. Finally, Pennsylvania will decide the presidential election. And we will look at the state. It's a pretty red state if you look at at least the map, but Democrats do have the large support from the Philadelphia suburban regions as well as Allegheny County where Pittsburgh is located. Um, Republicans do have a lot of support in the rural areas. The rural areas actually generate a decent amount of vote for the Republican Party. Nonetheless, I just don't think it's going to be enough, especially someone like Nikki Haley could turn off a lot of Trump supporters. Now, not as much as someone like Chris Christie, but still could turn off a lot of voters. And therefore, I do believe Joe Biden will end up winning the state of Pennsylvania by a lean margin. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.